a community is coming together to help move that building, which is about 1,200 square feet and weighs about 9,000 pounds, to take it from that slab over there and put it on this new slab. The man who owns this property lost his home on the Yellowstone River during the flooding a couple of years ago, and this has been a big boost, all this help that he's getting to help keep his property. Saturday is moving day for Park City resident Mike Kinsey, but it won't resemble a move that most Montanans have ever seen. About 150 volunteers will physically pick up Kinsey's garage, turn it and move it 100 feet to higher ground, a scene that will resemble this one in Pennsylvania. I felt defeated until uh, Nelson came into my life and started talking about doing this for cookies. Nelson Troyer is a member of the Amish community near Roberts and is a mastermind behind the project. And they, on the side they go to the truss. That way the, we don't lift the roof off of the wall. Troyer had been working on the neighbor's barn when Kinsey asked him if he could work on his garage. It's going to have Nelson tear it down. He just told me I, I can't in my right mind see it destroying that nice building. With a old fellow that lost his house in the river, uh, why not reach out and help him? Kinsey lost his home during the flooding on the Yellowstone River in June of 2022, and he's still trying to recover. I've been here since 1977, like I told you, and uh, I'm buried in debt right now on this property, but I'm trying to stay here, trying to figure out a way to hang on to it and move back down here and live here. Troyer still may be looking for volunteers and estimates about 156 can fit in the building in order to move it. My goal is you know, to, to get people together to, to help Mike. He needs, he's in need of help. A helping hand and an unconventional way of pitching in from a community that wants to help. I spent like three whole days with Nelson and there's a lot to be said for that lifestyle and if we all lived like that in America we wouldn't have none of these problems we're facing now. Yeah, it's been a life-changing experience getting to know this guy. In Park City, David J, MTN News.